Mexico. Dan and Casey, good morning. Today is your wedding day. We have come to the beautiful Sonoma Valley this morning as the sun rises. My hope for you is that you will approach not only today, but each day, each experience, adventure, struggle, and contentment with the same eagerness that the sun approaches our skies above us. The sun always shines. Of course, there are days when grief and anger may cloud it. There are days we are too busy to remember that the sun continues to serve us even when we are not appreciating it. There are nights so dark and lonely that we long to feel the sun on our cheeks again, and we wait for it because we know without a doubt that the sun always exists. No matter what, the sun always exists. Let the love that unites you be your sun. Let your love illuminate your hardships and darkness. Feel the love, the beauty, and the joy that will carry you through your lifelong adventure. Thinking of your relationship and the moments I've seen you share, I've seen, you, I've seen your great joy and deep love. I think of an excerpt from a novel called Jasper Jones by Craig Sylvie. It says, what I'm feeling I think is joy. And it's been some time since I've felt that blinkered rush of happiness. This might be one of those rare events that lasts. One that'll re be remembered and recalled as months and years wind and ravel. One of those sweet, significant moments that leaves a footprint in your mind. A photograph couldn't ever tell its story. It's like something you have to live to understand. One of those freak collisions of fizzing meteors and looming celestial bodies and floating debris and one single beautiful red ball that bursts into your life and through your body like an enormous firework. Where things shift into focus for a moment and everything makes sense. Dan, Casey, as you prepared for this day, you reflected on the things that are so important to each other in a lifelong relationship as husband and wife. Please present together the vows that you have prepared. It's a little less prepared than <laughs> yours. <laughs> okay. Alright. Trust him. Well, okay, so let's just go over. So we kind of made like core values of our marriage. Yeah. Our laundry. Yeah. <laughs> so these are what we chose. So the first point is trust and loyalty.
felt like you had uh, a deep respect for people, Every, all, all people. You just always, you treat people as though they are your family. You treat people the way that you hope that people would treat you yourself. And I think that was something that was initially a quality in you that I found really attractive was that you are so like kind and empathetic towards people and you always think how is it going to affect them. And so I know that Thank you. 
proud to be yours. Like, I never stop bragging about you. I feel like people get really tired of how much I talk about you all the time because, because I'm just so proud of you. And I feel like, I don't know, I want to show you off and I always want to be talking about you because you're like this, I don't know, you're something in my life that I have great pride in is that like, I have you, <laughs> you know? So it's, I, yeah, I definitely think that it just, it's nice to be, have someone that I don't feel embarrassed about or I don't feel like any sort of like, oh, you know, like, yeah, that's my leg, whatever. Yeah. But it's like more of like this elation of like, yeah, like, that's what I got, so, you know, like, and it's, I think that's one thing that, like, yeah. it's, like, I'm really happy to have that. Companionship. It kind of kind of took a tumble earlier today. Um, <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of humor in her life, whether it's ironic or. <laughs> And although it sounds like very like <laughs> very like you know absurd and silly but like nothing matters right. <laughs> so if we fail at something it doesn't matter like there's another day to try again and we don't have to get bogged down in the swamp of like you know trying to like build our way through whatever and like right. you know we're trudging through the mire I like 
that we do kind of continue to like remind each other. <laughs> like when one of us is starting to like fall into like a pit, we're like, but also none of it matters. <laughs> so like let's just move on <laughs> and like do something else. But yeah, and I think that's something that is gonna be important to remember in the future. <laughs> and because it's not always gonna be, you know, fun times, but if you can find the humor and like stupid situations and if you can you know build those little ladders of fun and you know out of those rough times then it just becomes a lot easier <laughs> yeah anyway so within that so I'm not just shooting off into space and I've I mean, even in the years that we've already been together you've improved me so much through that having that balance in my life and having that harmony and that sort of flow that we can kind of interchange between us where you can kind of get me back on track on things and you can refocus me <laughs> and be like you're kind of like floating it out of space right now. Maybe take a like a minute to like actually sit down and think about this for a second. And it's improved my life so much. Like I've I've accomplished so much more because you were by my side and helping me focus and retain that energy a little bit and shoot it off into something like better than just all over the place. <laughs> you know, throwing spaghetti at a wall. And whatever sticks like you're so much more better you like have a recipe <laughs> for things and it's just improved me so much and I I want to be your balance too so that I can help lift you up and I don't know you know like move you and inspire you Along with these vows, you 
will now pledge yourselves to one another. Casey, do you come here freely, without reservation, to give yourself to Dan in marriage? If so, answer, I do. I do. Dan, do you come here freely and without reservation to give yourself to Casey in marriage? If so, answer, I do. I do. Your wedding rings are the outward and visible sign of the inward and invisible bond in which you guys already unites your hearts in love. So that. Dan, place this ring on Casey's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring. Dude, look at my hands. <laughs> my fingers are gonna fall off. <laughs> 